Hey guys, it's Ray Alvarez, Shoot With Ray. And in today's video, we're gonna be playing around with some hard light, we're gonna play around with some gobos, we're gonna get creative with our model, Paola, and we also have some cool light setups for you guys. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button below, and let's get right into this video. All right guys, so you know, it all starts with the makeup, and Kay Alvarez makeup is the go-to for my shoots. She is my person, she is my makeup artist, super talented. I usually never really show the behind the scenes or us filming the makeup, but in this case, I just wanted to show you guys like a little snippet of what goes behind the magic. So here we are with the makeup. This is step one to all of our shoots. And now we're gonna keep moving forward to the items and the gear that I used for this video. So this is my 300 case by condition one. I take all of my gear everywhere with this case. Feel free to click on the link below in the description where I link back to the Condition 1 case. If I trust my gear with it, you should too. In this shoot, we're going to be using the Adorama Flashpoint 8600. It's going to be attached to the 20 inch beauty dish. And we're going to be using this dish to create portraits with hard light and soft light. We're also going to be using the Godox Gobo Projection Kit. The links to all of the products and lighting gear that I use can be found below in the description. We're going to be using the Flashpoint 8200 to backlight one of the portraits that you'll see in the video later on and I'll reference it again. It's going to be the 8200 plus a few magma gels and accessories. We're going to use the Sony a7R5 with a 90mm G Master lens. Everything is going to be triggered by the Flashpoint R2 transmitter which is compatible with Godox. All right guys, so let's get started in building and setting up the whole backdrop and lighting. We're gonna be using the X-Drop by Westcott. I wanted to give it a try out as one of the selling features is that it can be set up really quickly and easily. So I'm gonna be using a white backdrop for this photo shoot. It's fairly simple to set up. I actually got it done in about under four minutes. Things got sped up in this video and obviously there's a few parts where, you know, they got cut off. But yeah, about four minutes to set this up. It was pretty easy to do. There you go, it's all good to go. So we're gonna be using a Flashpoint nine foot C stand and I'm gonna be attaching the 8600 to it, which then I'm gonna be attaching the 20 inch beauty dish. That's gonna be our lighting for the first part of the video. And then we're gonna go ahead and change it all up for the second part and the third part of the video. In this part of the video, I'm going to introduce the model, Paola, and you can follow her Instagram by clicking the link in the description. In this part of the video, I'm actually just setting up my settings. We're doing what I like to call build the shot or build the lighting. We're going to go ahead and start shooting the first part of this video. All right, guys, let's get started with this shoot. I'm working with Paola, which is a model I never worked with before. This is the first time we'll be working together. So I'm explaining my process. I'm explaining what I'm going to be doing, how I'm going to light, how I'm going to shoot. And that way we're on the same page and we're understanding each other. All right, let's get to it. So here we are, we start our shoot. Paola's already doing amazing. She knows exactly what she's doing. I don't really have to guide her much. In this set, we're using hard light. The settings for this part of the video are gonna be one over 320 for your shutter speed. The aperture is gonna be at 2.8 and the ISO will be at 100. Let's ramp it up a little bit here. As you've seen on my previous videos, you know I like to use the iPad to showcase and review the images that were taken with the model or the client. I'm using my iPad with the Sony Imaging Edge app. There goes the nod of approval. All right guys, so in the previous part of the video, we were using a hard light setup. The beauty dish didn't have a grid, it was all bare. Now we've added a grid to the beauty dish and we're shooting more of a moody lighting. What I want to do is basically cancel out the white backdrop, make it all dark around her and just light the subject. So here we go. The 
settings for this part of the video is going to be shutter speed 1 over 400, aperture 4.5, ISO remains at 100. So for this part of the video, we wanted to get a little bit more creative. We wanted to use the Godox Gobo projection set. And here, what you can see is I have it set to a, a line that's just kind of dividing her face. The settings for this part of the video is going to be shutter speed 1 over 200, aperture 2.8, and ISO does change to 125. A lot of people get confused with the Gobos. They think that they have to buy a whole bunch of equipment. It's not that complicated to buy these products. So all you have to do is just follow the links below in my description and you'll see exactly which products you need to buy to get this exact same Godox Global Projection Kit. Paola came with some amazing outfits and I just wanted to make sure that we capture a whole bunch of different looks. So this is why we split this video up into about three or four parts. All right, so last but not least, one of my favorite parts of this video and also favorite parts of the photo shoot is this look here. I just love the hat, I love the earrings. I just love the look that Kay and Paola created for this last part of the video. So here we have Paola sitting down, bare shoulder. We're gonna do up close beauty portraits. And in this case, we're still using the Godox Gobo projection kit with the 8600. I did change the shape out it's no longer a line, it's a circle now. The only thing is I wanted the circle to be small enough where it's only covering part of her shoulder and part of her face, but I also kind of want to make her eyes a little bit mysterious where you don't see them. For this part of the video, the settings are shutter speed 1 over 200, aperture 2.8, and ISO is 125. We're just playing around with the gobo set, moving it around to make sure that it hits the eyes, it doesn't hit the eyes, and it just creates different shapes and different outputs. I also wanted to reference the 8200 with a red gel is actually behind her. You don't see it, but I ran out of stands for this photo shoot. So I had to improvise and I just placed that 8200 right on top of my case. So that way the red gel can splash on the backdrop. And then we're just basically using the 8600 as our key light. So that way it could fall on the subject. All right, guys, there you have it. We just wrapped up the video. We gave you three light setups for you to learn from. Hopefully you take that information and apply it to your workflow. Give me a like, leave me a comment. I'll see you guys around on the next one. Thank you for watching.